Oh, oh. How you doing? No, I didn't call you a ho. I do the ho ho for Christmas. It's holidays, and what better way to have a lap it up than to have something a bit holiday esque for us? I wonder what could that possibly be? What could it be? I don't know. Maybe it's some Duracold eggnog. Ultra pasteurized. Not just regularly pasteurized, but ultra pasteurized. Like this is defeated monsters in Tokyo pasteurized. Let's give it a shot. Old fashioned is what it says. I tried opening this a little earlier and I noticed the cap and I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll take that off before I put this in the car. Or not. Hmm. That's even got the. Mm. Why does that taste like? Hold on. know that I am a big fan of eggnog. I make it every year. Obviously, this is not a rum base. You know, this is just eggnog. This is the egg part of the nog. Um, and a lot of times you put nutmeg in there. Um, and I don't know if it's the nutmeg that's doing it, if they have that in here, but honestly, this tastes like not uh, eggnog, but pumpkin pie nog. And maybe, maybe it is the nutmeg in it. Maybe, maybe that has something to do with it. But this literally tastes like the way a pumpkin pie tastes to me. concern. Because is this what a pumpkin spice latte is supposed to taste like too? I, I, I didn't think about that until just recently. Is that the whole pumpkin pie thing, the whole pumpkin spice thing, is that, I never, I've never had a pumpkin spice latte before. Um, just never got around to it. And it's one of the things that I plan to do, but is this, is this it? It doesn't taste, like it doesn't taste like eggnog. It, it literally tastes like Like a, like a pumpkin pie in a way. Milk and cream, water, corn syrup, sugar, whey, egg yolks, natural flavors, spices, carrageenan, gar gum, salt, and annatto and turmeric for color. Um, I don't know why, but for some reason, I just, it tastes like the way pumpkin pie tastes to me. Has it been a while since I had eggnog? Is that it? Is that the whole thing? Am I, am I, are my taste buds ruined? Which would make a review channel kind of pointless. My poor taste buds. I 
I don't know. I really don't know. It's very strange. It's very weird. This is a new look. Same great taste. It's not bad. It's not bad. Definitely, definitely nice. I liked it. Um, uh, hmm. The rating is kind of weird. So I'm not really sure what to do with that. It has a conundrum. A conundrum. Um, honestly. I'd say, I mean, I did like it. So, would I drink more of it? Sure. So that's a that's at least a three. Mm. It was creamy. It was tasty. Um, I'll go ahead and make it a. F I'll give it a three, but I'm gonna give it a seven. On a tin scale, it is very tasty. It is very smooth. I really liked it. Um, can't be too... Beggars can't be too with that spoon. Hmm. Gotta be the spices that got added to it. Definitely, I think it's the nutmeg. I really think it's the nutmeg that's making it taste like that. I have been fiending for pumpkin pie, but you know, I didn't do a lot of the holiday stuff. I should do a lot this year. Mm. Um, but uh, interesting. It is very tasty. So, yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with three and a seven. Anyway, tell me if you guys have had a chance to check out Duragold. I don't know if it's regional or, or I mean, what does this say? It's um, Washington, Seattle, Washington, uh, Duragold, Inc., uh, Duragold.com. But, uh, yeah, tell me what you guys think. If you like it, uh, let me know. If not, and you can't get it, then just go with what I've got. No, I'm not going to send you any. Um... Hope you guys are doing well, as always. I am Sir Drink Slot, and I am wishing you health, wealth, and love with enough time and gusto to enjoy it all. Down to the last drop. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye.